What's up everyone? Welcome back to the DLB Daily. Today, we're still at my house. We're just in my gym. Um, and today we're just gonna ride dirt bikes. Just kidding, that's happening after. So today we're training back. I know most of you are probably having a little bit of a hard time training back with just like a couple of dumbbells. So keeping it fresh, keeping it fun, let's get to it. So we are starting off pretty strong. We got a little tricep. We're gonna do pull-ups. And I'm actually gonna tell you to use a band. So I want them like super strict and your body straight. I know for me, like I have nothing against a band. I think bands are great. It just adds a little bit of easiness, but it actually helps correct your form. Cause I know when I do pull-ups, I'll use my legs and I like, I come back. I want us basically just coming straight up and straight down. So the band is gonna actually help with that. It's gonna keep you right in line. So your legs are gonna be straight. I'm just gonna put one foot in here, super strict, 10 to 12. So you better get 10 to 12 because we're adding a band, super strict um, pull-ups. Then we're gonna keep this and we're gonna go straight into straight arm pull-downs, just using the band. And depending on what size band you have, if you have, I, I'm using a little bit of a thicker one so I can get, um, make my straight arm pull downs a little harder and my rows, which we're gonna go to. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit, right about shoulder width. And same thing we would do on, uh, if we were on a cable. So straight arm, pull down. It just gets a little heavier at the bottom. So straight arm pull down, and then we're gonna go right into a, uh, like a high row. So feet shoulder width apart, or staggered, I like to stagger, so shoulder width apart, stagger your feet, and you're just pulling straight back to your upper chest. So straight back to your clavicle, so you're gonna get your upper back traps and rear delts. it but I should have said it so these are obviously a little bit slower controlled reps anytime you have a band it's the best way I, I actually love training with bands um, on the pull back you're just holding so even through those pull throughs you're gonna hold for like a one to two second count so down hold back up so don't let the band just pull you back up you're going to release your arms. Same with the rows. So pull back, hold, and then you release back. 
don't let the band take you. So slow, controlled, 10 to 12 for the pull-ups, 12 to 15. I'm out of breath for everything else. <laughs> okay, no, enough of this silent working out. I have rights to this music. So if you haven't checked out Rob, ba kill Rob Bailey over everything. This is all I listen to. So now you have to listen to it. Can't do this silent treatment. All right, next up, we have a little uh, super set. We're doing a dumbbell high pull with a dumbbell low row. So I'm going to explain both because both can be a little confusing because a high row is very, very similar to an upright row. So I'll just do it even without weight. So difference between an upright row and a high pull. So upright row, your elbows are going to be higher than the weight. So the weights are down here and elbows are higher. For a high pull, you're going to pull, you're going to start off the same way, but when you get to the top, the weights are higher than your elbows. So that's the reason we do upright rows mostly on a shoulder day is you're stopping here. That's all shoulders. As soon as you go like this, that's going to get your rear delts, your traps, your upper back. So that's why we're doing a high pull. So we're going up and back. So from the back, you're almost uh, ending like a face pull, but you're starting from here. So a face pull, you'd be like this. And at the top of the that uh, at the top of the high row, you're basically the same way. Um, next, we're gonna do probably even use the same weight. We'll go right into a low row and dumbbells. Uh, for the difference between a high row and a low row, which we've been doing a lot of these this way. I know why we don't usually mu have music. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. Right. Back to it. <laughs> This is why I don't use music. I just wanted to sing and it's messing me up. So we're lowering it and then we'll louder it afterwards. So went from the high pull, then we're gonna go to our low row. So we've been doing a lot of, we only have dumbbells to work with. Don't look at this thing. If you have one of these things, then you're fine. But I'm doing this for you guys. I do use that. Uh, but our, our low row, you're starting from here and you're pulling basically to like your hip or like I say pull to your pockets. So if you have pockets on your jeans, you're pulling to your pockets. When we do, we'll probably have a high, a high row. If we're doing a bent high row, that's up here. So you're hitting your mid back traps, rear delts. So we're going to stay low. Elbows are going to come straight back. So you want to try to keep those elbows close to your sides as you can. I know mine like kind of flare out because my lats get in the way. So hopefully your lats get in the way and they'll just go out a little bit, but try to keep those elbows pointed back, pull towards your pocket. So we're going from a high row to a, or a high pull to a low uh, bent over row. What weights should I use? I don't even know. So rep scheme is 10 to 12. We're gonna start a little bit lighter and then we'll go up from there. dumbbells with you. I go a little lighter with the high pulls. I go a little heavier with the low rows. <sighs> All right, moving on. We're coming back to the pull-up bar, but we're just going to do a pull-up a little bit of a different way. Um, if you have a V-bar grip handle, 
Uh, so you can put it up over top. Uh, we're just gonna be grabbing just like this. And then the next round, I just want you to switch your hands. Not that there's gonna be a huge difference, uh, but I'm a bodybuilder. Somebody, somebody's home. Whoa, it's a Maybe it won't work out with us. Probably not. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so we're gonna do pull-ups from here. And we're gonna just duck our head up and over, up and over, so to either side. So hands will just be placed like this. So this is kind of similar if you were on a pull down. So I'm just trying to think of like different things that are gonna feel like other movements that we don't have at home. So a close grip pull down, this is what we're gonna be doing. But we're gonna be pulling up. So hands here, dangle down. Try to stop moving a little bit. And then we're just gonna pull up from this side, down, and then alternate back and forth. Then we're gonna go straight into, he might, he might, he just might. What? I said, don't get your hooks up. My belly's probably not gonna work out with us. Uh, we're then gonna go to an inverted row. Obviously, if you don't have like a squat rack of some sort. I've been doing uh, table rows, like in the house. You just find a table and uh, we're gonna do an underhand grip because we haven't done anything underhand yet. So we've done close grip, overhand. We're gonna do an underhand inverted row, which I'm just gonna use this barbell and lay on the ground. Uh, to make it harder, you can put your feet up on the bench. Boop. Underhand grip, right about like shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. Feet up, and then you're just pulling your chest up to the bar or whatever you're pulling from. Again, try to keep your elbows close to your sides. And then if you don't really have, or if you don't want to use a bench, you can literally just keep your feet on the ground. or when I wish I didn't weigh so much. Let's go. harder than I thought. <laughs> so four sets, 10 to 12, as many as you can get. So if you can't get 10 to 12, you just get as many as you can. So. Oh. All right, now I'm gonna hit those rear delts, traps and upper back. So we're actually going to be combining two moves and make them alternating. So we've done bent over flies a billion times on shoulder day, back day. So we're doing bent over flies and bent over a wide row. This would be kind of like the high row that I was talking about earlier, but we're gonna be bent over. It's almost like a, like a pen lay row. So uh, the difference between these two are for the flies, your arms are coming out here I always keep a slight bend in my arm. It's never like completely straight. Uh, it's always in like a locked position and then it doesn't move from that. Same as like if you were on a cables, you're not gonna bend them and straighten them. That would be more like a press. So elbows are locked 
and then you're going to alternate from a, a fly to a row. The row is going to be high up by like your clavicle and elbows are going to be like kind of like at 90 degrees and elbows super wide. So instead of coming back like a low row, they're going to come up and wide. So alternating is just going to go from this fly, row, fly, row, fly, row. And then we'll go straight to just a band pull apart. So if your band is like pretty light, this is probably one of the lighter bands, you can just grab in super close. You don't have to use all the way out here. So I'm gonna grab pretty close and then just staying seated, we're just doing pull apart. Just like you're doing a reverse fly, but with a band. And then I don't let it come all the way together. I always keep a little bit of tension on and then back. So it's almost like a three quarter rep. So you just don't let it straighten because now I've lost all my tension. So keep the tension on the whole time, stop about here and then straight back. So you'll get more of like that pumping. This is just, you've just did your reverse flies and your wide row to hit those rear delts and traps. And then this little pulsing movement, keeping the tension on, that's just gonna add more blood to that section. So it's the pumping factor. Let's go. three sets 10 reps each arm gorilla rows so gorilla you're basically gonna come down and look like a gorilla so think of a gorilla just like standing they have nice flat back squatted down and then arms are down here so your row is just basically I'm gonna come to the side of it so flat back you're just going straight back basically to like almost just under your chest. So it's actually a little bit nicer with kettlebells if you have kettlebells, because they're a little bit smaller. Um, kettlebells are great, and then you don't have to lean down so much. Should be right here, but we have dumbbells, so we're gonna be a little bit lower. So right here, alternating one arm at a time, and then you're keeping your, you're gonna tuck your elbow like we've done with the low row. Elbow's gonna tuck and come straight back. So just bring that dumbbell to your chest, when you lower it, then the next one comes up. And you just keep your hands on the dumbbell at all times. So one goes, the other one stays on the dumbbell. So you're just boom, boom. Coming to a standstill. So three sets, 10 reps each. So 10 on each arm. So it's so a total of 20 rows. Woo, we need finale music. I'm gonna find some finale music.
hopefully we will be back in gyms very, very soon because I know all we want to do is like just a lap pull down. It's the best. It's, or any kind of like hammer strength machine. Soon enough, we'll be there. But if you guys are watching this video, comment below if your gym is open or not. Let me know because I need to see how I'm gonna switch next week's workouts up. So if your gym is open, let me know. If it's still closed, let me know too. Comment below. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week on the DLB Daily.